Hey guys, my name is Michaela and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a makeup studio revamp. I have some new furniture pieces and some new decor pieces that I'm going to be setting up in today's video and just freshening up my makeup studio a little bit. I'm so excited for this video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I'm sitting in my makeup studio right now. Behind me, I have my Ikea mom drawers. So I actually filmed a video where I moved all of my makeup storage from the Ikea Alex drawers into these drawers behind me. I will leave that video linked down below for you guys because that is the first part to today's video. Um, I do have quite a few new exciting things that I have ordered for this makeup studio. So I'm basically gonna show you guys the whole process I'll show you what the studio looks like now and then I will obviously show you the process of setting everything up, putting it all together and then I'll show you the finished result. basically so that's what I'm going to try and do for it today the first thing that I'm going to do is like move out all of the things out of this room that I don't actually need in here starting with these little Ikea Alex drawers those absolutely need to be moved out of this room so I'm going to start moving that stuff out and then we'll get to opening the boxes of the new stuff online um, everything that I purchased I will leave linked um, down below in the description box for you guys but behind me is going to be um, a waiting area so I bought an ottoman online that I can use to put into that spot there uh, I just think it creates more of a welcoming vibe into your makeup studio when you do actually have somewhere for people to sit most of the time my clients don't really have to wait but just in case or if they bring a friend with them at least there's somewhere that they can sit This is so nice. I don't even know if you guys can really see it. <laughs> like it actually looks exactly like the photo. <laughs> it looks so good. It's an alright size. I guess you could fit two people sitting next to each other. It's not the biggest ottoman, but I guess I don't really need an ottoman that's that big anyway. So I feel like it's it's the perfect size for what I wanted. Um, this is what the little lid looks like and there's heaps of storage in this as well. So I'm going to open up my business cards first. I'm so excited to see what these look like. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Ah! So they're basically very light in colour. I'll show you guys a close up. It's got like a marble like background, um, like a really light marble. And then it has my logo embossed on the front, so it's raised print. And then on the back, it just has my information. So it has my website, um, my email, my Facebook page, and Instagram page. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Next up, I'm gonna open my banner. This one, I'm actually really nervous to open this up because I hope it's as good as I think it's gonna be. So, hey, 
Hi, can I have a kiss? You look really nice. Tastes like coffee, dude. Love you. The moment of truth. Oh, it comes in a nice bag. Oh, I like the silver. this is my banner and I'm so happy with how it turned out it's honestly like better than I could have imagined so at the bottom there's got like a bit of a marble finish and then it's my logo embossed across the rest of the banner so one great reason about having a banner is of course taking photos of your clients in front of it. You can use it as a backdrop and it's just a really nice way to take photos of your clients that look super professional. And of course they can take selfies in front of the banner as well. But another reason why I wanted to purchase the banner, which I think is very smart, is if you'll see behind me in the background, I have some of my makeup cases that I use when I do freelance makeup and weddings. And they just don't really look very aesthetically pleasing in a room. And if you have a studio where you don't have like a cupboard space, which I don't in this room, then you kind of need a way to be able to hide those. And so I thought that the banner would be a great way to do that, to have it in the corner of the room. So I'll show you. This is how I'm going to be having the banner. It is basically like that. So it pretty much just hides those cases. Um, so it looks a lot nicer and I also feel like it's a very good aesthetic to a makeup studio as well Was having something like a banner. It's another way to make your makeup studio look more inviting and invites people to take selfies in front of it So I really am really really pleased with how that has turned out and how that is looking Um, again, I will link it below for you guys if you are interested, but I'm going to flip this box over and we're going to start putting it together. have to be like so careful. Oh. Alright, we have a box inside a box, which I guess is a good thing because then you know that they've packaged it very well. as well so you can plug your phone into charge which I really like and I'm pretty sure it's Bluetooth activated I don't really know how to set this up let me get 
how to use the features power and brightness control one to control power brightness and dimming first touch will turn the lights on hold down the touch button to increase and decrease brightness oh okay let's try this Ooh. Turn on my Bluetooth. Bluebo mirror. <gasps> I'm gonna have to blur out the music because <laughs> it'll be copyright for sure. But let's see. Now, what I need to do is clean out the room. Um, I'm gonna vacuum, I need to put up the two canvases, and then basically it'll be like just decorating the room and showing you guys the finished results. So I'm so excited. <laughs> and hoping that it works out. <laughs> makeup studio I really hope you guys enjoyed this one it is by far my favorite video that I have filmed on YouTube so far if you did enjoy this one then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already I'm gonna do a giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers and we're not too far off so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to go in the running to be in the giveaway so that is all I have time for today guys I hope you enjoyed and until the next one I will see you all later Bye.